Hey, what's up, you guys? So today I want to talk about how you can use Melodyne to kind of enhance tracks and kind of like use its audio to MIDI function to really kind of like emphasize and add, like, you know, spice up things where it might be empty in a mix. So I already did this. So I'm just going to delete this and we're going to start this from scratch. So all we got to really do is we're going to use this uh, little DI guitar. And there's really not much going on in the mix. So we're just going to throw in Melodyne. And how Melodyne works is it basically you have to transfer, which basically plays back the audio and captures it. And then that will basically make a uh, snapshot image. So you can do any tuning or anything like that. So hit transfer and press play. Cool. So that should work just fine for us for now. So there's different algorithms, right? You have percussive, which is like it sounds, it's percussive. It's really great for if you want to maybe like have like some type of snare or, or like um, tambourine kind of like MIDI thing. And you can just have it follow that, you know, follow the rhythm. You have polyphonic, which has every single note, um, which is more like when you're doing vocal tuning. But it's kind of cool. Um, I find it just to be a little too busy. It, it more like it kind of like makes you play a whole piano part. I stick to uh, for this. I'd like to do melodic because it more follows the um what's going on as far as what it's playing but it doesn't give you this like super hi too hyper accurate kind of representation so anyway all we got to do is save as midi and i was messing with this earlier before so we'll just save over the guitar close this and we'll, we'll just take out melodyne and then we're gonna do um import and guitar now melodyne will record um silence that's one thing you have to like be careful so it'll keep that so that whole like little area right here is Melodyne Silence. So let's just throw this into Expand, the Expand track that we have. We'll delete this, and we'll just zoom in here. And that looks like it'll it'll start on time. Let's see. Yeah, it should start on time. Um, We just got to go in here, delete this. And that looks pretty good, actually. Let's see. That looks, that looks good enough. Um, Now, I already did an instance of this. So what we're going to do is we're going to just throw a factory default. And let's take a quick listen. I, I know where it starts with, and I really don't like how it starts. So we'll do like a spring. I mean, sorry, a string. Cool. So you can hear it. It's basically following the guitar. So in this case, what I kind of want to do is maybe do some kind of piano thing going on. So we're going to do some acoustic piano. Let's try a natural grand piano. And then, in fact, we'll do another one. And let's do a, uh, like, a upright piano, right? And let's just turn off the upright and we'll play it back. So that's pretty cool, right? Um, now let's do some effects. You know, let's turn this on. I kind of want to do like a flanger or a phaser. Let's do phaser. Um, and we'll just kind of do this. This is more for like an effect kind of thing. And then we'll do a chorus. We send that out. Let's take a listen. Yeah, that sounds pretty cool to me. Um, next time I'm going to do a little bit of distortion just because I really love, love, love distorting um, pianos. Let's try the fuzz. Kind of getting there. Yeah, that's kind of what I want. Kind of like tames the dynamics and adds a little bit of color. So let's take a listen to this now. Now let's take a listen to this without the actual expand anymore, because you'll notice it kind of sounds empty. Yeah. 
So that's pretty much it. Um, it's a really quick and easy tutorial today. It's more like showing you kind of things you can do. And like I'm saying is this is like a great way for you to um, experiment. If you have Melodyne or if you don't, I would just grab a, um, a demo of Melodyne. I'm pretty sure the um, the earlier versions are the, the light versions, I guess, have the uh, audio to MIDI function. I never actually tested it when I had the light version. Um, I just recently upgraded to the uh, editor version, and uh, so I really never really mess with it that much besides tuning vocals. Um, which another cool thing you could do is you can make fake doubles, which I did right here. I basically slightly tuned it and changed the timing and the pitch. Um, and it's just an exact duplicate of the vocal, but that's not ready. It hasn't been mixed. In fact, nothing here is mixed at all. So um, yeah, that's about it for today. Hope you guys thought this was interesting. Um, let me know if you guys want me to go more into it or if you guys liked it, and uh, I'll see you guys later.